This video will demonstrate rotator cuff repair augmentation using a structural biocomposite collagen implant. I'm Dr. Joe Burns from the Wellstar Medical Group. The first technique will show an augmentation of a double row repair. This is a medium sized repairable supraspinatus tear that will fix with two double loaded suture anchors placed medially. We'll pass all eight sutures retrograde and take them out the anterior portal in mattress fashion. And then we'll tie down two of the mattresses for primary medial fixation just lateral to the articular surface. These sutures can be tied and cut primarily, leaving us four limbs which can be brought laterally into knotless anchors. At this point, we bring in the BioBrace graft. It's a highly porous type 1 collagen implant augmented with PLLA fibers. The porosity allows rapid host cellular ingrowth and regeneration, while the PLLA fibers provide time zero strength to the repair. One by one, we'll bring each of the remaining mattress sutures from the medial row outside the body and pass them through the BioBrace in mattress technique. In addition, we have two sutures through the lateral graft, which will be used in our lateral row anchors to load, share, and protect our repair. The graft can then be easily placed down nearly any cannula and slid into the subacromial space on top of the supraspinatus rotator cuff. The graft's medial sutures, which come through the rotator cuff and the graft, can then be tied down to provide fixation medially. We'll move the lateral sutures outside of the lateral cannula to allow better access to the graft and continue tying medially. We prefer to tie these sutures medially to take advantage of the strength of the graft and fix the graft directly to the cuff with sutures. Now we're ready for lateral fixation. We'll select one set of the graft's lateral sutures as well as two of its medial sutures. Outside the body, we'll load all four sutures into a knotless lateral row anchor. The anchor is then deployed in standard fashion, compressing the supraspinatus down to bone, as well as the graft down to the supraspinatus as well as the bone. We'll then simply repeat the process with the second anchor. We'll load one set of the graft's lateral sutures as well as two of its medial sutures into a knotless anchor where we can then tension all four sutures back down to bone. The final repair has a transosseous equivalent rotator cuff repair with two additional medial row mattress sutures under the biobrace plus incorporation of the biobrace structurally into the repair. Single row repair technique. For this case, we've selected a single row, a SCOE row type repair. We'll place a triple loaded suture anchor, approximately three to four millimeters lateral to the articular surface. And then we'll use standard anti-grade suturing technique with suture hooks and shuttles to pass each of the three medial sided suture limbs across the rotator cuff one at a time. Of course, you can also use any number of the retrograde suture passes as well. We'll then tie down all three sutures, and this will complete the repair. After this, we'll perform the augmentation. The BioBrace graft is then prepared on the back table with two sutures medially and two sutures laterally. The two medial sutures are what we call stick knots, or short-tailed interference knots. Like a mulberry knot, the stick knot prevents the suture from pulling through the graft as it's pulled into the shoulder. The two lateral sutures are placed in mattress technique with the limbs coming up and over the graft so it can be compressed down to bone later. Using through and through suture hook suturing technique, a shuttle is passed through the cuff, posterior and medial to the tendon edge. The shuttle is passed out the anterolateral portal it's tied to the posterior stick limb and then used to shuttle the stick limb down through and across the rotator cuff.
Then suturing from anteriorly, we'll pass a second through and through shuttle, anterior and medial to the tendon edge, using the exact same technique. These suture hooks are excellent for performing these through and through stitches, and these stitches have been found to be extremely strong even in poor rotator cuff tissue. We'll use the blue shuttling suture to pass the second anterior stick knot limb through the cuff, approximately one centimeter medial to the tendon edge and 1.5 to two centimeters anterior to the first stick. This second anterior stick suture is then shuttled down and through the native cuff. Of note, this exact technique is versatile for any rotator cuff repair, single row or double row. Surgeons can always complete their primary repair of choice, prep the graft with two stick knots medially and two mattresses laterally, and then augment their repairs in this manner. Once both stick sutures are shuttled through the rotator cuff native tissue, the graft is brought into the subacromial space. Gently pulling the stick limbs guides the graft securely into position. You can see the stick knots sitting on top of the graft and understand how they can be used to control and pull the graft into the shoulder. Once this graft is in the shoulder, we can grab the stick knots and tie them down as standard knots. Tying through the anterolateral portal, we can tie first the anterior, now the posterior stick knot down, and this will fix the graft securely to the underlying rotator cuff. We'll then gather the lateral sutures in the graft one at a time and place them into knotless suture anchors. As in a double row repair augmentation, the sutures in the lateral graft fix the graft to the bone, but can also be tensioned to load share and protect the cuff repair, taking advantage of the biomechanical strength of the biobrace. The biobrace graft is placed such that it covers the entire rotator cuff footprint. Despite doing a low tension, medially based single row repair, the spanning of the graft conducts cellular ingrowth and healing across the entire greater tuberosity. In addition, the PLLA fibers provide time zero tissue reinforcement structural strength before generating a thicker regenerative tissue layer and then eventually resorbing. Ideally, Rotator cuff repair augmentation with bioinductive grafts that have strength will help to regenerate thick, strong tendons as seen here after use in a revision rotator cuff repair. I'm Dr. Joe Burns from the Wellstar Health System. Thank you very much.